What is going on guys, it's Dark here, and today I'm going to be bringing you XCOM Enemy Unknown. This is going to be a let's play that I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to be making all the soldiers my friends, and we're going to have like a hall of uh, death for my friends and stuff. And this game is incredibly hard, and it's known in the top 10 worst games for like a game over, if that makes sense. Now I must say something, I'm going to play on easy, but I can in fact tell you that the easy mode is practically the equivalent of a Call of Duty veteran campaign on easy as well so just just imagine how the veteran mode on this would be it just no you die like one move but yeah I played this a little bit and I bought uh, I, I got like a three pound DLC for like some sort of soldier colors and stuff that you can get um, so we're going to go ahead and go with Europe just because you know we're from Europe. I mean, each every every one has like different, uh, like every base location has different stuff, which will give you advantages. But Europe is where I'm gonna go at because you know I love my country and whatever. Um, but you do get laboratories and workshops for fifty percent, so that's good. We're gonna go for Europe and just hope for the Our best. Target site is near the German border. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. So we've got to sweep the abduction site and identify threats. Neutralize all hostile targets. Looks like we've got a nice little team lined up already. Right, we've got, we've got a male. Is that a male? A male, male, Strike one. male, Section. female. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Alright then, so we're going to zoom out, get a good look at where we're at. This is literally all we see right now. They've all got assault rifles, my team. Uh, the aliens could literally be anywhere in front of us, like left, right, in front. And we're going to go ahead and get some good advantage. I'm just going to move up a little bit and put myself Roger. in Overwatch. Move him there. Yes, Commander. So right now they have random names, these soldiers. Uh... I'm actually definitely thinking about getting XCOM 2 because of this. Like XCOM 1, although the game is like pretty insane and just hard, uh, it's still a really good game. And XCOM 2 looks like it's more chilled out and you can do more things and everything, so it's just definitely something I would look to get. Got some more Overwatch going on. Alien activity. So it's a turn-based game, if you don't know what it is, it is a turn-based game, it's on Games for Gold at this precise moment in time. Um, but as you move up, you identify better areas, bigger areas, sorry, should I say. Um, and you'll probably find aliens. At this point, I'm actually alright, I'm moving up slowly, because I know how dangerous it can be. Like, you get shot like once, and you're going to probably die. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to find like the best full cover that you can find. And slowly but surely move up. This is literally one of the best options you have in this game, is because it, it's turn-based and stuff. You want to go careful of where you move and what you do movement-wise. As I said, we're going to move in one direction, slowly but surely, and hopefully find out where the enemies are at. I'm going to switch over to this one. Moving to position. Really curious to find out where the enemies are actually at right now. Because obviously you don't know. And every map you play, or every time you start a new game and stuff, like everything and everyone is in different positions. So it's one of those games that, although it's on like better and difficulty, it's still hard to predict what the aliens are going to do and where they're going to go. I'm in a bad spot there actually. Shit. Sorry. Sorry for my language, but I'm in a really bad place there. Slowly move up again. Although it looks like I'm moving quite slow and stuff, this is the best way to sort of proceed from what I can tell. Slowly but surely getting there. Oh, okay, yeah, so you can definitely tell they're in that building. One of them's uh, identifying me or something. I don't know what to think of that. We're going to go up to this wall and hope for the best that we don't die. There we go, we've identified some ugly looking aliens. Witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. 45% chance of hitting him. 45% chance of percent. Right, let's see if we can throw a grenade in there. 
No, it's way too far away. All right, so we're gonna actually try and attempt to shoot this guy right now. I think, I don't know. Ooh, hard choice. Yeah, we're gonna go for it. Oh, this guy is on point. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. I need to have speech to go out of the way so I can see where I'm aiming. Alright, so there's a 45% chance of hitting him. I'm going to try and move up a little bit more. Got it covered. And get like a little flank going on. Not a flank, but just like a better position. Oh, damn. No way that just happened. It's really not good when you miss, because obviously they get to shoot at you and you don't want that. There we go, on point. This game is kind of like weird though because sometimes like the aliens can shoot through walls and it's just kind of irritating. But they have like plasma weapons which can blow up walls which is just frightening, if anything. So that was our first alien encounter. Gonna go ahead and... I think we're gonna break in this house and see how that goes. I'm on the move. Alright, didn't go too bad. <laughs> Got away with it. Put him in Overwatch just in case something goes wrong. I don't want him to go around that way though. He's just gonna smash through. But we do want to go that way, so. Affirmative. Moving out. Move him up. I'm on it. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. Oh well, at least it's Overwatch and not like, I don't know, something random. Gonna move you up to this wall. Moving to position. Moving to Just in case. I didn't mean to mess up that move though. I, I put that guy in Overwatch for no reason. Here. Right. There As I said, slowly but surely moving up. The Gonna leave them up there. Alright. Okay. Can move up to the sofa. Seems like a nice little safe place. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Ah, screw it. We're just gonna smash through. Got it. Move it. Cause you know, the aliens wouldn't have heard that, ten out of ten. Um <laughs> Oh god. Oh god, I smashed that one as well. Sorry, we got some overwatch, we're alright. I have a feeling they're all in that one room, like in front of me, and I'm just not gonna like it. I'm on it, Commander. Can't get so. Are you in Overwatch there? Copy that. This guy is ready. I'm not gonna open that door yet, not until my team get there. Because that is, uh. I don't see that going right. Move you up to this door. There we go, we're set. They are most definitely either in this room or just outside of it. I'm not looking forward to moving up any closer. But you know, we're gonna have to open that door, see what's up. So literally, what up? There we go, there's some there. We're gonna see what our hit percentage is, 45. 45, not bad. I thought it'd be worse than that. It's 45 again, alright. I'm gonna actually chance this. Alright, nice. I'm happy I'm happy with that. What's his percentage? 45 from there? Alright, let's give it a go. Oh wow. Got two damage. He's living. Let's give him a go. Nice, man. These guys are on point. Alright, so that's actually one done. Labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Alright, that was game. So that was the first little territorial bit we'd have to go against. We can now research some stuff, edit our base a little bit, and yeah. Edit our squad. We can have our first squad. So that's cool. Alright, we're in. 
Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Well, alright then. There you go, I'll let you guys see like the whole actions of it, so you know what's going on. The easiest way to describe this game as well is like the aliens have basically like come to Earth to... Oh. And without so much as a scratch. The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. The heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. So there we have it. There's the main aspects of it. You can see like my giant base of operations like later on. You basically build underground and you build like absolutely loads of stuff. Uh, so we're gonna go to the research lab right now. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. I can never tell what accent that is, but oh well. Anyways, go ahead and do this. Start new research. We are going to go for not that yet, not alien materials. We're going to go for the weapon fragments, so you can upgrade our weapons and whatnot. I agree. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. All right, so we're going to go check out engineering now. Ah, Commander, I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. Yeah, I'm not going to mission control yet, right? Wait, wait, wait. But I want to quickly show you the facilities. Some room to grow up here. But if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. Alright, so what I do know is if you put stuff next to each other, they help each other in some sort of way, shape, or form. Um, we're going to excavate here, which will dig out stuff so you can start building there. And we are going to... Ooh, we could build... Actually, no, I don't, I don't think we should build anything yet. We're going to just leave this. Maybe build a lift. There we go. I'll send word when the new facility is operational. Alright, real quick, we're going to go to the barracks and just quickly check out this. So we're going to go view our soldiers and the main ones we've got. we only got like one British dude, wow. Commander to mission control. Commander Stop telling me to go to mission control. control, well hold up. We're going to name our squad. Loadout. So you get the ordinary stuff. Customize. First name, we're gonna go with Lewis. Oops. Ah, oh, no. Wait, hold up. First name. All right, we're, there. we're just gonna name them all Oracle because I can't be able to put everyone's last names and stuff. So I don't want everyone being a stalker and trying to find them on like <laughs> social networks. All right, so we're gonna go for Oracle Lewis. How about that? All 
Oracle Lewis, and like later on you get to nickname them. I don't know when, but you do. And you can nickname them, and I'm gonna give him his uh, game attack and whatnot. Make him race one, even though he's from China, apparently. It's lies. That's affirmative. I'm on it, Commander. All right, what head should we give Lewis? Give him that evil look. Give him that evil look. Skin color, we'll just keep it the same. Hair or helmet? Oh wow, we get our helmets this time, huh? What the fuck is that? Alright, okay. You're gonna have some awesome helmet, Lewis. Alright, just letting you know. Hair colour, that ain't no worry. Facial hair, that ain't no worry. Armour... Oh! Oh, we can change your armour tint as well. Oh, damn. Shit, it's serious. This is the DLC that I got, by the way, is that you can literally just tint your character out and stuff. I wanted to see how many tints and what kind of armor you can get. Like, it doesn't help you, I don't think, but it looks cool. How many tints are there? Oh my gosh, hold on. Alright, there's, there's 32 tints. We're gonna go for the white and red if they have it. Like a proper white and red. See, that looks nice. I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and give you that. Next soldier. So this one's wait, is this the bet one of my best ones? So we've got Oracle Lewis going on. Alright, we're gonna have the sniper. So this is gonna be hold up, if we change some stuff. Customize. First name. We're gonna have Oracle, obviously. And then we're gonna name him after that. So we're gonna go for Oracle Jake. We're gonna have Jake in here. Why not? Oracle Jake, you better do good. Solid copy, yes, yes commander. commander. Head, we don't worry about no head. We just all get, you're supposed to give them all basic one heads. I don't know. Commander to mission control. Commander we just put the helmet on and we don't have to worry about the whole head model. I don't know what head to go for though, they just all look pretty cool. This one looks beastly though, so I'm good about that. And what colour were we again? Five? I think it was five. Sick. So now we have Oracle Lewis, Oracle Jake, and we got, <laughs> oh god, he's, he's coloured, like no offence obviously. I'm just going to leave Kelsey coloured. So, first name. Oh, that's taking ages. Oracle, and then we're going to go ahead and call him Kelsey. I'm gonna keep him black, no offense. No offense, Kelsey. Oracle Kelsey, there he is. What kind of races? How many races are there? Jesus. Back in my day. Commander right. To mission right. Control. Yes, Commander. Commander to mission control. I'm gonna make him look. <laughs> Can we give him that? Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna give him that helmet. Hair color, facial color, armor. And then armor five. There we go. So now we have the three oracles. We've got Lewis, Jake, and Kelsey. And the one British female is going to be Naku, obviously. And she's the one with the heavy armor and shit. Awesome. Oh, this takes days to name them. And because it's 360, it's like slow as heck. Oracle. So we're going to be Team Oracle. I'm good with that. Oracle. No. Oracle Natalie, that'll do. Race one. Good to go. Solid copy. Affirmative. Solid copy. Head. Just give her an I don't know, not an evil look. Skin colour, she's pretty much just as pale as me. Herald helmet, we're gonna go for the helmet again. Doesn't matter about the hair really, I mean she doesn't Command you can't see. Control. There it is. And then a five. There it is. There's Naku. Looking epic and badass. We've got the, we've got the four man oracles. We're going to get some more people. Like, I'll, leave, I'll add more people who I know as friends on the, uh, on the extra people we have. Because obviously I'm going to have to use them at some point anyway. Um, and also, if anybody wants to leave a comment in the, well, the comment section on this video, then you will also be put in this video. It'll also be put in the team, sorry. 
So that'd be really cool to see you be put in the team and see how well you get on, because you might die, you never know. But at least we got Oracle, Lewis, Jake, Kelsey, and Nat on the team, and they'll also have their nickname soon. So that's really cool. We're going to go to Mission Control, because I keep getting called there, like, 24-7. I'm going to scan. And there it is. So you've got abduction sites. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. So this is what you sort of have to do, you wait for, you scan and then you wait for like something like this to come up. So you've got to choose one of three places to go and help from the, like the invasion and stuff. So you can go help France, Australia, or the United States, um, and it's up to you and like your reward changes regardless of who you go for and the panic like, of it and stuff. So yeah, but I'll leave it there guys because I don't want the videos to be too long and obviously I'll make other videos and all that sort of thing. So, hope you enjoyed anyway. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and don't forget that comment actually of what you want your name to be if you want to be in my game. That'd be hilarious just to see you guys in there. And if you die and if you uh, make it to the top 10 sort of thing, I don't know. But yeah, as I said, like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you on another video. Bye guys.